Okay, so it's been cold and these guys are blooming. <laughs> Let's take a look at that next. Hello everyone, this is Dwayne with Edge of Nowhere Farm and we're coming to you here today on a very cool, crisp February evening. It's uh, February 23rd, 2019, and you know what? We just had one of the coldest, wettest Februarys I can remember. I've been here in the Phoenix Valley for about 20 years, and we've been out here for about five, and this is by far the coldest winter we've had so far. So good news for that is, any of our trees that need chill hours, well, we hit those chill hours without any problem. Now the challenge of course is those early bloomers, which is one of the ones that you see behind me here. We're gonna talk more about that today. So uh, to recap, February, we've had some very, very cold nights. These trees, in fact, our Florida Prince tree, which we'll check out here in just a second, was the first one to break bud. It was the first week of February. So it's actually been flowering now for a couple weeks. Uh, we've got a couple different trees that are flowering, have been over the last two to three weeks. Um, and we've had some extremely cold temperatures out here in Whitman. In in fact, measured one morning we were down to about 23. Uh, last week we got down into the low 20s or mid 20s as well. Um, and just this past week we got into the upper 20s. Um, so we've had some very, very cold nights, definitely frosty, frosty nights. Um, so we've had a lot of frost um, on these trees. So one of the things when we're selecting varieties, you know, one of the things that you haven't seen much here on this channel is too much talk about tropical trees. <laughs> and part of that is because we're kind of lazy gardeners. Uh, you know, we work hard, we do a lot of hard work, but um, we don't have a lot of time to go back and really kind of baby the trees. So we really try to pick varieties that are geared more towards our climate. And one of the things about us being out here outside of the city is we're a good five or six degrees cooler than you guys are in town for those of you looking or watching here in Phoenix. So where you guys were in your third in the 30s last week, we were down in the 20s. Uh, you know, conversely, during the summertime, we're about five degrees cooler. So when you're 120, <laughs> we're 115. Still real hot, but uh, it's still a challenge. So uh, we don't do much in the way of tropicals, and we're going to talk a little bit more about at least one of those later but let's get back to these guys so our flowering trees so we have uh, several peach varieties that have already started flowering and we also have a couple of our apple varieties that have started flowering so what we wanted to do is kind of document where we are today because fingers crossed we should be done with our frost because we're past our final frost date at this point uh, we got frost last night uh, and the forecast looks pretty good uh, moving forward into next week and we get into March so we should have that behind us um, so assuming we do we're gonna help you're actually gonna follow along and we're gonna document how, how we stand today so what you see behind me here uh, this is our tropic snow peach we've talked about this before I'll link the video here um, fantastic ta tasting peaches um, so they're kind of in the middle of our peach season, um, a little bit later than some of our other varieties, um, but uh, in full bloom. Uh, so lots of bee activity here today. We're down actually up into the upper 40s right now, so still a little chilly. Um, but uh, lots of bee activity on this. Um, looking at the buds, we've got several buds if Flory wants to slide in. We've got several buds that have not popped at all that are just starting to go. Uh, but you can see we've got lots of flowering. Oh, there's a bee. Uh, but we've got lots of flowering. We've got one of our little buddies here helping us out, uh, trying to give us some fruit this season. Uh, but we've got several uh, bees here pollinating. Uh, we've got a lot of completely open flowers, again, frosted last night. Some completely, completely open flowers, none budding at all, and some that are just starting to break. So that's uh, our tropic snow. Okay, on to our next variety. This is our Florida Prince Peach. This one is our favorite so far of our peach varieties. Um, I'll link a video here talking about this one, showing you a harvest, but have get a, an amazing harvest off this tree. Big challenges. It's the first one that breaks bud. So this one's a little bit different, really has me nervous. I'm going to have Lori slide in. Let's take a look and see what we have going on here. So uh, lots of bee activity again, which is always great to see, um, but a lot of different stages here. So we have, uh, for the most part, just about everything I can see as far as buds have broken. Uh, we have some that are in full flower here last night, obviously got damaged. Uh, we have some that are just starting to break here. Um, and then we even have some fruit set, if I can see, if Lori can squeeze in there, if you can see that there. So we even have some fruit set on here, which is really questionable uh, given our 
temperatures. So got a lot of different uh, stages of flowering and fruit set on this tree. Uh, so be very curious to see how this one does once we roll into harvest come May or so. Okay, our next peach variety. This is our desert gold peach. So if Lori wants to slide in, uh, this one is a little bit later than our Florida Prince. The Florida Prince is May. This one's usually in June. Um, so the flowering, uh, much smaller flowering on this one. So looking at this, we've got a lot of buds that haven't broken at all. So I've got some buds that haven't broken at all. Have some that are just starting to um, pop. I have some that you can see were damaged last night for sure. Uh, but I don't see anything as far as fruit set on this one. Um, so still a little bit hopeful on this one. Uh, so we'll see how this one does uh, come June or so. Okay, so on to apples. So we have our three early season varieties. This is the first one. This one's our favorite. This is our Golden Dorset. Um, I'll link the harvest video here so you can see what a fantastic harvest we had off of this tree. Last year we had a very, very late frost at the end of February that really kind of zapped this one. Still had a great harvest. So um, I'm pretty hopeful about this one, but I wanted to take a look at it real quick. If you look at this tree, for the most part, it has not broken bud. Uh, we've got several that are just starting. Uh, we've got some flowers here that look like they definitely got zapped uh, with our cold. Uh, this one here looks like it probably did. But at the same time, I've got a group here that hasn't even actually broken completely yet. So that hasn't completely flowered. Uh, looking higher up on the tree, uh, we left a few uh, buds that I knew were new buds that haven't started budding yet at all. Um, so still very, very hopeful for this tree. I think we're going to clear with this one. Okay, and this is our next apple variety. This is our Anna apple. Um, so the Anna apple, this one is usually about the same as far as timing, um, same as the Golden Dorset. Um, and if Lori wants to squeeze in, uh, we've got uh, several different stages of flowering. I'm pretty com confident in this tree. Uh, we've got some that are completely open here. You can see that. Uh, definitely some frost damage on that one there. Um, I have some that are just starting to open. Uh, so those should be fine. Uh, we should be golden there. And then some that haven't even really started started yet. So uh, definitely uh, looking like we're going to be in the clear on this tree as well. Okay, and this is our last variety we're going to be looking at today. This is our Tropic Sweet Apple. Um, so this one is our, uh, it's kind of right in the middle as far as when we take harvests uh, off of this tree. Um, but this one flowered really, really early. So I'm really kind of nervous about this. So if Lori wants to slide in, we'll take a look and see what we have as far as flowering. We have uh, some shot flowers here. Um, so you can see the frost damage in there. They look burnt. Um, so that's frost damage singed here, frost damage in here. So we lost all of those, uh, not really expecting anything out of there. Um, it's got some new flowers that look like try to come out yesterday. Definitely probably going to be in trouble there, but we've got some that are just starting to break here. So that one's just starting to pop. This one's just coming along. Uh, I see a couple different spots in the tree that haven't started yet at all. As we get up into a lot of that new growth, it hasn't started to open as far as flowering either. Um, so I think we're in the clear on this one too. Again, fingers crossed. Okay, so that was a look at our <laughs> spring flowers, our frost from this winter, and our hope that we're still going to have some fruit come spring this year. I'm really hopeful uh, looking at this. Uh, so to give us a really good idea, getting down into those mid-20s, mid to upper 20s uh, with trees that are flowering and whether or not you're still going to get fruit. So just want to thank you for joining us today. You know what, if you haven't done so already, hey, subscribe to the channel. You know, we cover a lot of things here on the channel. You know, we've got fruit trees, we got livestock. We're going to be moving from this one acre property to our six acre property. I'm going to link that series here. Would love it if you would join us for that. You know, if you haven't seen us on Instagram and Facebook, join us over there. There's content that's there that you won't see here on the YouTube channel. And any questions or comments, hey, leave them in the comment section down below. You know, one of the things that uh, we're still testing here is how do we get through these cold nights with flowering and will it work or not so uh, we're testing it out if you got some advice for us we'll take it so just want to thank you for joining us today and remind you if we can farm on the edge of nowhere so can you we can you see me talking by the way this whole time okay oh just want to uh, <laughs> yeah let's try that again <laughs>